Hey, Saggies and Cross Watchers. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now until March 31st. So, Sag, we have some interesting stuff going on for you. Um, someone's really excited, um, very eager to talk to you. They have some exciting news or an exciting message for you, but I get a sense of, um, to be completely frank, like just a little bit of irresponsibility. <laughs> it's almost like, um, the energy of like, hey, you want to get in some trouble? <laughs> you know, if it, but they're very excited, very excited about it. And I feel like you're very receptive. However, I mean, it's a good thing. Hold on. Sorry. Let me, let me preface it with that's a very good thing. However, there's also the sense that you have a, a history with this person that is not all that exciting. No, not that, not that it's not exciting because even bad, bad relationships are exciting, right? <laughs> to some extent. Um, and I'm not saying you had a bad relationship with this person, but definitely there was some trouble here. Okay. And I have the cards here definitely indicating that energy that I'm picking up on. So we have the five of wands in a verse, the six of pentacles in a verse, and the ace of cups in a verse. I'm feeling like it's very ego based, very petty stuff that went on in the past. A lot of back and forth, petty arguments, very imbalanced of give and take here. Um, yeah, very imbalanced of give and take. And, and Sag, I definitely get the sense that you are the more mature one out of the two remember this could always be vice versa this is their energy the page of wands with the full universe aries energy it's also uranus so um ruling aquarian en energy they're very excited very eager to tell you something to try something with you but i just i keep getting irresponsible i just keep getting, getting irresponsible off this energy but look at you you're ready for something well wait let me, you're ready for a foundation you're not ready for irresponsibility you're not ready for anything unstable, but you're ready for something stable. And Saggies, I know you're known as like the in and out, a little flighty, um, especially if you're like a Saggy moon. Um, but And you're always up for an adventure, but Sag, you definitely want some st stability here when it comes to your um, emotions, when it comes to love. And that's very indicative of Saggy energy. You guys always want stability when it comes to emotional support. You want a lot of emotional support from people. Um, and you're very eager for it. And I do think this person's telling you that, but there's something about it that feels irresponsible. I'm just being honest. And then we have the Justice card, Libra energy. This is all pre-shuffle energy, right? All pre-shuffle energy and meditate, meditative energy that I was picking up on. They're so excited. They're like a little kid. It's like they got ants in their pants. Like you, you can't like keep this person calmed down. But you, Sag, I mean, look how receptive you're being. You're so open. You're so open and receptive to something happy, something stable, something that has a lot of love and support there. That's what you're ready for. You're like, I'm ready for that. If you have it, give it to me. If you have it, give it to me. This person is a page, okay? <laughs> you're a queen. They're not even a knight, and they're a page. So I just... I feel like whatever it is they're excited about, I'm just worried that they haven't thought it all the way through. But it is balancing the karmic scales to some extent. So I'm very curious to see what we get in your reading, guys, okay? So it goes without saying, this is a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes it'll be you and sometimes it won't be you. Page of Swords just came out. Yeah, this person's got, you know. I get it. They're excited. They're passionate, but they're they're a little on the immature side. They're a little on the immature side, Sag. Um, so just keep in mind, guys, that message, messages can be vice versa because we are working with energy. Um, and also, if my energy is not resonating with you, there are a lot of amazing readers on YouTube. Go ahead and check them out. By all means, I won't be offended. It's like dating. You got to try a couple of readers. <laughs> Unfocused energy. <laughs> You're dealing with kind of a little kid. Someone who's got a kid-like spirit. Nothing wrong with being kid-like spirit, but you know, as long as you're mature enough to handle a relationship, right? Like that's the big question. Um, also guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. I know I'm a little all over the place. Um, my energy's my energy's a little off today. It is the you know the twentieth, right? So full moon, the super moon, full moon energy. My energy is a little off today, guys. I mean, not in a bad way. I'm just um, I've made a lot of space energetically because I just moved and I purged a lot of stuff. I'm in my new place, um, and when that happens, my abilities tend to kind of like expand, like almost like think of it like a jar, like like you know like a jar, and you know. It has like oh so many gas molecules in it, right? And then you upgrade to the bigger jar, they just have that much more space, right? To kind of like do their thing. That's kind of what's going on with me, all right? So you're going to notice I'm going to be picking up on a lot of like 
a lot of things in some aspects and then I'm a little um, slow because of that. Okay, it's just energetically taking a toll on me. But let's get into it, Sag, because I'm curious what's going to go down for you for the rest of March. Mm. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 30th? First, almost the 30th. That's weird. Maybe the 30th is a big day for you guys. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Like, I've even been affecting my electronics, <laughs> which has been interesting um, and kind of cool. Definitely kind of cool. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? This, per <laughs> this person really makes you smile. Uh... And it's only, and it's because of that kid-like energy. Um, they keep you on your toes and they bring, that's what it is. They bring the adventure for you, Sag. And you love that. You love someone who can bring in the spice and adventure into your life. But remember, it's like you still need that emotional support. And that's, that's where I think they've been lacking in the past. Yeah, that's where I think they've been lacking in the past. And not just with you, I think with a lot of people. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? But this person is, well, I don't want to say they're trouble. It's not that they're trouble. They just find trouble. <laughs> they find trouble for themselves is kind of what I'm getting. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have the sun in reverse, Leo energy. <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpionic energy. It's also water and air. You guys know the signs for those elements. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Wow. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Uh, it's also fire and water. Which, you know, could also be you, Sag. And I do feel like it is, um, it's how they see you. It's how they see you. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Cups in reverse. Eesh. This feels like rejection. This feels almost like a separate energy. So I'm going to keep that on the other side over there. Let's see what else we get. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st? Any message, some, something can be improved here between you and this person. I think that's part of the exciting news, excuse me, that they have for you. There's something that's like a little lacking. There's something that's lacking here between the two of you. And like I said, I do feel like it's more so the emotional support factor, but they're coming in as a King of Cups energy. You could be a Scorp, um, Sag Cusper, but they're coming in as a King of Cups, but there's something about it that's still very much lacking. And I think that's what this exciting news is to improve that. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding uh, love from now until March 31st? Okay. Mm. overall energy seven of swords yeah and i gotta be honest it doesn't feel very good it doesn't feel very good it's actually affecting my solar plexus it does not feel very good it's aquarian energy uh this is someone you know clearly he's sneaking in the window right to get those last two swords um and i do get a sense of return 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 sag i think you've been through a lot of shit with this person um, it's almost like, okay, this is going to sound a little strange, but it's almost like they have an alter ego, like almost Jekyll Hyde. It's like, they are a king of cups, but then they can be like a page of wands, right? It's like, so they can be that sturdy, loving pillar for you. And then they can just switch it up on you at like a drop of a hat, like almost like a 180 to someone who's a little more childlike, a little mischievous, a little devilish, a little, let's find some trouble, Right, that's not very stable energy. Um, it could, yeah, it could be bipolar energy, but I'm not going there. Um, but this is definitely someone who's a little bit of a Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, you could be going with the Gemini. 
<laughs> you can be all the straight up Gemini, but there's something about it where it's like, oh, is uh, is jackal back? <laughs> you know what I mean? Do I have hide or do I have jackal? Do I have jackal or do I have hide? It's like that kind of energy, but it's that return energy of like, oh, that person's back. Or, oh, that side of you is back. It's like there's something gross. <laughs> there's something gross that's like being brought up again about this person or coming back out of this person. But look, I mean, you guys do have something. You guys have something kind of amazing honestly, is kind of how it feels to me. Something that's very loving. But again, it's like, who do I have? Who do I have today? Right? And that's why there's something lacking here. It's lacking that consistency. It's lacking consistency. And Sag, I think at times you're wondering if you can even trust this person's behavior or what they say, because it's just like, who am I dealing with? I don't know. <laughs> and you know, people forget that, that with trust, trust is about predictability. It is. It, it is. I mean, you can't trust anything unless it's predictable and unless it's, and unless it's consistent, right? I mean, even in science, I mean, that's, you know, that's the rule of thumb, right? Check the consistency, check the predictability, that sort of thing. Um, and if someone doesn't have that, if someone doesn't bring that to the table, you really can't trust them. Even if they didn't like inherently do something awful to you, they're like, well, why don't you trust me? Because you're not predictable. <laughs> You can't trust someone who's not predictable. Sorry, it just is the truth. And people, I don't I know why I don't cl clue into that. But anyway, so then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. I'm just getting like rejection. Ugh. Sad, you might have shot this person down with some of their ideas. It's like, I think this person feels very rejected by you. And again, it's that like, that jackal hide kind of energy and it's like I think you have rejected them because you can't trust them whatever you rejected them at like in it, it can be in any form it could be a flat out breakup it could be you didn't accept their idea it could be um you didn't take them up on on going to an event because maybe you don't trust them to show up it's like you know what I mean it's something like that they feel rejected small or big they feel rejected so let's look at the sun in reverse because that's what I'm feeling the lacking here very curious about that about the sun in reverse it's like how can you be a page and a king right like yeah something just very like alter ego-y about this person tell me about the sun in reverse they're sagittarius regarding love from now until march 31st tell me about the sun in reverse for sagittarius regarding love they're very attracted to you, though. Oh, my God. They find you incredibly, like, beautiful or handsome, male or female. Um, incredibly sexy. Tell me about the sun in reverse. And loving. Very loving, too. Tell me about the sun in reverse. For Sagittarius. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I love when that happens. Oh, my God. Look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, look. Gemini. <laughs> the lovers. So King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. So it's definitely them. Tell me about the sun in reverse. And what did I say what was lacking? The emotional support, the trust, the consistency. That's what a king brings is consistency, love, and trust, especially this king. And that's been lacking. Look, Ace of Swords in reverse just came out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about the sun in reverse. I know there's passion there. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, very nice. Tell me about the Sun in Reverse. Mm. Two Nines, got two Nines right here, guys. Two Nines and two Aces. There's there's a big cycle about to end here for you and your partner, Sag. A big cycle is about to end just so one can start. The Nine of Swords, though, with the Nine of Wands, that's a whole lot of anxiety, overthinking, a lot of overthinking, um, about about like what you two have been through about the fighting i think you guys have fought a lot i think you guys have fought a fucking lot in your past um and there's just a sense of worry about it it's like how much longer do i have to fight how much more do we have to fight how much more is there how much more is there to actually even fight about is kind of the energy that i'm getting tell me about the sun in reverse I think that's why there's been a lack. It's like, because there's been so much fighting, 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 because there hasn't been that emotional support. And I don't think the king slash page 
<laughs> the Jekyll High, the King of Cups and Page of Wands um, sees that. I don't think they see that. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Sag, I think you're tired of fighting. I think you're just tired. Tell me about the sun in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Tell me about the sun in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st. Temperance in reverse. Sag. Yeah, this this lack has really thrown you out of balance. It's like there there needs to be a serious like resolution here with this energy, okay? Because Sag, you're tired of fighting. You're like, how much more do I have to fight? How much more is there to even fight about? I just want this. I, I just I just want it renewed. I just I just want to start over. I don't I don't want to keep talking about the same shit over and over and over again. I don't understand why you don't get me. Sorry, there's a little bit of inner dialogue. Um, they can't see the truth. They can't see the truth. That's why there's the lack there, and that's why you're out of balance with it. Overall energy for the sun in reverse. We have the King of Wands, Leo energy. This is also their energy, okay? Um, Leo energy could also be fire or air. There's a sense of needing to get this taken care of. So you've relayed this information to them. You've relayed this information to them. They don't really see how tired you are. They hear you. They hear you. They hear your request to get to do something about this, which is why they're real. Okay, maybe we should take action here. Maybe there is something I am supposed to be doing, but they don't really understand how to do it. They want to. They want to take action. But again, it's that Jekyll Hyde. It's like they don't really know. They don't really know how, especially when they're, you know, on the other flip side and they're a page, you know, when they're in that energy. I think you two have a lot of fun together when they're in that energy, but I think it always leads to an argument. I think you start out having an adventure and then they get, they're immature, right? So then they get to an immature place about something and you're kind of like, okay, do we need to go there? Or, okay, do you really need to do that? Okay, or do you really need to say that? And then it triggers them and then boom, you guys have a fight. Um, but let's look at this four of wands because this is the foundation between you, which feels fairly stable. But again, it's that lack, right? Um, so let's see if we can get more information here with the four of wands. Time about the four of wands. Where am I at? Oh, shit. 17 minutes? Jesus. Okay. Playing with the Four of Wands. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Give me a second. <clears throat> oh, okay. Playing with the Four of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st. Playing about the Four of Wands. You guys are such a pair. You both are the king and queen of cups and wands. <laughs> king and, let me say it again. King and queen of cups and wands. Of love and emotion and passion and action. That's a nice combo. Tell me about four of wands. Tell me about four of wands. Two of wands in reverse. Indecision. Yeah, they don't, they don't know. They don't really know how to go about fixing this issue. Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's an issue that stems from them internally. It's that jackal high they need to figure out. Tell me about the four of wands. Or, Sag, don't hate me. Or you just got to learn to love it all. And, you know, at the end of the day, that that is true love, is loving the crumbs, right? Loving the parts about someone that's not pretty. And I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying maybe there's this group of you out there that need to maybe consider that. And if you're not willing to do that, then you're not willing to do that, right? Tell me about Four of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st. Tell me about the Four of Wands for Sagittarius. Regarding love from now until March 31st. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love. Okay. Hermit Virgo energy. Oh boy. Wow. And over the overall energy for the Four of Wands, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Disappointment. Yeah, it's that lacking. It's that lacking and trying to figure out what to do because they don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, just plain and simple. So let's go over here to that rejection energy. So Sag, I mean, you could feel rejected, but I feel like it's them. I feel like they feel rejected by you. So let's look at the four of cups in reverse. 
So I got the Four of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. From now until March 31st. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. From now until March 31st. Tell me about this Four of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until March 31st. Oh, come on, really? Okay, we'll try one more time. <laughs> For those of you new to my channel, I am I always let the energy dictate the cards. I never pull off the top of the deck. Um, just, you know, just letting you know. So I wait for flyers. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. There we go. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love. Wow, okay, now they're really talking. Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> from, <laughs> shit, from now until March 31st. Didn't want to talk, and now all they want to do is talk. All right, so let me get these in order here. Mm. Wow. Okay, overall energy for the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Emperor in reverse, and look what's right behind that. Ace of Pentacles. So Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy, for me as a reader. Um, it's also like very CEO energy, someone who holds a lot of power, usually a business owner or a boss supervisor, manager. Um, it could be like a judge, a lawyer, someone who holds power, someone who's been through shit to get where they are. But in reverse though, so this is someone who has some control issues, someone who's a little possessive, someone who's very cold, someone who's very cold, okay? But with this Ace of Pentacles, it's about wanting a new beginning, wanting a beginning in stability, wanting a beginning in stability, but they feel rejected because it's four of cups in reverse. So these first three cards out, we have the Eight of Cups in Reverse, Two of Pentacles, and Knight of Cups in Reverse. Piscean energy, also water and fire. And then we end here with the Six of Cups, Venus Scorpio energy, with the Seven of Wands in Reverse. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So they feel rejected, but from this new beginning here, um, or a restart, kind of like a reset. Inability to move on. Like, this inappropriate inappropriate they're inappropriate <laughs> sorry it's just what i'm getting sag for your partner they're, they're inappropriate okay and i think that's why they do feel kind of rejected by you when they act out when they act out when they act out you you tend to kind of put them in their place very bluntly and it's just they're just they're inappropriate so that you just do it you're right but they do feel a little rejected by you okay um but there is a vulnerability here you, you make them a little more vulnerable and they are already a little immature to begin with, but I think that's also because they're afraid of vulnerability, but you, you make them more vulnerable. There's something about your energy and something about your connection that makes them more vulnerable. And I feel it here. Um, definite soulmate, past life karmic energy with the six of cups. I do also get a sense that someone likes to play a little too much, um, especially with this energy here. It's almost like someone doesn't really want to give up their bachelor or bachelorette ways. They can't really move on from it. But at the same time, they can't really move on from you either, you know. And they want to make it better. They want to make it better between you. They just they just don't know how. And they get it's almost like they're getting more and more vulnerable about it as time goes on. They're getting more and more vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. Jesus, my mouth isn't working today. I don't know why. They're almost getting more and more vulnerable about it as time goes on. I think there's a lot of memories here. There's a lot of history and a very deep connection that's that's really hard to get past. But they kind of some 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 can't let go of their bachelor bachelorette ways or player playerette kind of ways. But they can't move on from you at the same time. They're inappropriate, so you put them in your place, and they're that's why they feel rejected by you. Um, and they know they can make it better. They just don't know how. They just don't know how, and it's because they don't really realize this, like, 
this switching of alter egos of like, of I'm the king of wands and cups. No, I'm the page of wands. Let's go have fun and get into trouble. You know, it's like they can't, it's like they need to mesh the two. That's what it is. They need to mesh the two or get rid of the page of wands alter ego. It's an alter ego thing. It's very weird. And it, you know, maybe that's just their false self. You know, some people um, put on that false sense of self to be around certain people or to have like to re like maintain the relationships. They keep putting on a facade because people change all the time, right? People are constantly changing. So to keep their cur current relationships intact, some people, not all, but some people put on that fake facade of, of staying stunted in that age when they met those people. So that they can hold on to those people. Page of Wands, right? Stunted. Stunted age-wise, emotionally, maturely at that age. Let's have fun. Let's take a risk. Let's go have fun and get into trouble. Versus I'm a king. I'm stable. I will support you. I will take care of this. Let's be together in a healthy way. They they flip-flop between the two. And it's like you can't trust it. They're inappropriate when they're the Page of Wands. And you'll put the kibosh on that. And so that's why there's this lack between the two of you um yeah that's why there's a slack between the two of you and they just they need to start seeing that they need to start seeing that they need to mesh those alter egos or they need to just get rid of the page of wands entirely and i think that's why overall there's this seven of, of swords energy here between the two of you because you're just like you just can't trust them you can't trust them even if they didn't do something inherently awful to you you feel like you can't trust them Wow, so this is interesting. Uh, let's pull from the Romance Angel deck and see what this has to say. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius? regarding this Jesus okay <laughs> sorry guys these want to talk a lot and they're giving me like too many cards at a time so give me a minute <laughs> please give me less cards <laughs> less cards please less cards I say that and like look at how many just fell out yeah no we're not taking those we're not taking those these really want to talk okay hold on please only give me a few cards for Sagittarius regarding this spread any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Well, you can give me some cards. <laughs> Any messages for Sagittarius? regarding this spread any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread oh geez come on come on now <laughs> any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread what did I say Jackal and Hyde Talking, 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 now, now saying nothing. <laughs> this person's energy is crazy, okay? Very crazy. But I can see why you're attracted to them. Um, they're fun. They are fun. And sad to the end of the day, you guys can't resist fun. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Okay, I just tried three times. Okay, one more time. And if we don't get anything, I'm moving on to the spirit animal deck. <laughs> this is crazy. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? There we go. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Okay, we got one card. <laughs> We have past life relationships. I love that. You have known each other before. And we already knew that, right? There's a lot of soulmate energy here. That Six of Cups implies past life energy. Um, you two could just have a long history in this life or many lives. There's a very long, long, deep connection here. Overall energy, we have healing family issues. That definitely has to be regarding this person. Remember that alter ego thing? That's like, that only comes about in like very, not specific traumatic situations but um 
not a whole lot of people I find have that issue of like ultra egos and can't like mesh the two. And it comes from having to heal, right? There's something about this person or an aspect of this person that's very stunted, that really needs some healing here, okay? And it could be regarding their family. Um, if you have a family with them, it's definitely regarding healing things with you by healing themselves, right? So we know that, we know that. Um, so let's look at the spirit animal deck and see if we can get any advice, any advice for my Saggies. Any advice for my Sagittarians regarding this spread? 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 Any advice? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Now remember guys, I mean, this is a love reading, but it can also um, be applicable to your work, your family, your friends, coworkers, social circle, roommates, all that stuff, okay? Any advice for Saggies regarding this spread? 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 Oh boy. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love it. I love the overall energy. Let me get all these cards laid out here. Oh, 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 that's so sweet. <laughs> Overall energy, guys, you have, uh, you see clearly now with the owl spirit, number 43, bring it down to a seven. Seven's all about like my life purpose card or energy, life purpose vibration. So with this owl spirit, it's ba spirit's basically saying, use your intuition here, okay? Because it is hard for you to trust this person. Right. And remember, they they're the ones coming in with some exciting news. They're coming in with some exciting news. Uh, there's a sense of irresponsibility about them. Um, but Spirit saying use your intuition in this in this situation. OK, this is like the most intuitive card in this deck. OK, and Sagis, you're known as the seers. You're known as the seers. OK, start seeing. <laughs> start seeing and use that intuition regarding what you want to do with this person especially with whatever exciting news or offer they have for you okay so we have sing your own song with canary spirit and number 12 bring it down to a three collaborations working with people working for humanity that sort of energy that sort of vibration but sing your own song. This is definitely about you being you, Sag. You being you, speaking your truth, even if it is blunt, even if this person feels rejected, you have to start, you know, speaking from your heart. And a lot of you already do. A lot of you already do that. So Spirit's just saying, keep doing it. Keep doing that with this person, okay? Um, even if it's a little blunt. Even if it's a little blunt. And then we have Otter Spirit. I love this card. Look at how cute that is. You are never alone with the number 42 bringing down to a six. This card always reminds me a little bit of the Six of Cups, Six of Cups energy. Um, because you are never alone. It's basically saying that no matter what happens between you and this person, there will always be that love there. Always. No matter if you walk away, if you decide to walk away or decide not to walk away, just remember that connection is always there. Okay. It's very much cemented. Um, this is like my, this is usually like my twin flame card, soulmate card. So for whoever resonates with that, with this situation, um, but even if you're not, you're not with them, they're always with you in your heart. And just remember that it's just saying, remember that, just remember that. And then we have grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith with a number 30. You got another three here. It's three, six, three. I have on the board and then your overall is a seven. Okay. Life path. Um, but so take that leap of faith. So like I said, they're the ones who have news. They're the ones who have an offer. The advice is to take the leap of faith using your intuition, whatever that leap of faith is for you, whether that's into the, you know, 
the unknown with this person and their exciting news or offer, or whether that's rejecting them and taking leap of faith in what you know and not going forward with it. It's up to you. It's everyone's individual situation, okay? Everyone's in a different scenario with this. You know if you should trust this person or not with whatever it is that they have to offer, whatever it is they're excited about. Use your, your saggy seer intuition to judge if you should take that leap of faith with them or without them. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Patreon and the Facebook page. And I'm so happy to be back. Uh, next week, I will probably be more calibrated. I know I'm a little all over the place for a number of reasons. <laughs> like I'm sure a lot of you are a little all over the place with the full moon energy, right? Um, but also with moving and my abilities and whatnot, there's, there's just a lot going on with me still. Next week, I'm going to be like hundred, like, you know, totally recalibrated. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your March, okay? Bye, guys.